Hey guys, it's me Maxi Rainbow and I'm back for another video. So today I am super duper excited to be continuing on my reactions to Eurovision 2021. In this video I'm going to be reacting to Cyprus's entry called El Diablo by, I can never remember her name, by Elena Segreno. I don't know how to pronounce her last name girl, but by Elena or Elena. I am super duper excited to get into this reaction because I said it in my reaction to Australia's Technicolor and El Diablo are the only songs from Eurovision 2021. 21 that I have already listened to. I always, 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 always do not listen to the entries, do not listen to the songs before I do my reaction. Like, I always want my reactions to be authentic, but because I took so long to do my reactions, those ones I just happened to, like, listen to, and then I fell in love with them. So El Diablo and Technicolor, they've been in my playlists for about a week or two now. Obviously, I, I do enjoy them, but I'm excited to do the reaction because although I've heard the full song, I have actually not seen the whole music video. I saw clips, because if you saw, I might have ranted about it on Twitter, but I want to see the whole music video because I actually haven't seen the whole video yet. And yeah, so without further ado, let's get right into this reaction. Also, this one might be completely muted. I've never done that before, but Cyprus is extremely harsh on copyright, so I might mute this entire reaction, and I've heard it especially this year. People apparently are getting copyright striked. I saw ESC United talked about this. He got copyright striked for saying El Diablo, because it was a video months before the song was released, they just had the title, and he said El Diablo, and they copyright striked it. So, this video might not ever see the light of day, okay? But I'm gonna do my best to get through it. I don't care if I make money, I just want y'all to be able to see it, so. Mm. Oh, whoa, that was like a weird immediate start. Okay. I'm not sure about this outfit, it's a little unflattering. Like, the way the colors are blocked, it could move more nice with the body, but down below. Hey, I love the whip sounds, like whoosh, whoosh, and she's serving face. The weird thing about her, I said this on Twitter, I never know what she actually looks like, because like, for this video, she's blonde, she has like, pink hair, brown hair, she, just something about it, I don't know. Ooh, bam! This has such a good drop. This like, when I hear it, I feel inspired, you know, and I'm kind of, the video's fine, it's very Zara Larson. I'll talk about it later, but it's just her in a studio. I think when I listen to this song, I feel so inspired, you know, the message and everything, playing with the devil imagery, they could have done something like that, and I'm, you know, I was a little disappointed when I saw this video, I was just like, okay, lights in a, in a big empty room, but it's still serving. Drop in the lashes on the floor. Hair flip flip made you look twice. Touch me, touch me, me more. Oh, hey! When she's on the floor, she's doing her little choreography. I want to see her serve um, on that Eurovision stage or whatever stage they end up performing on. It's got such a good, like, let's bring it down and boom, you know? Hey! My heart to El Diablo. El Diablo. Hey! This is a proper, like, this is what Cyprus has been showing that they are amazing at with Fuego, with Replay, and now with El Diablo. Y'all can bring some fierce female bots and, like, do it so well. This is, like, excellence, honestly. And see, they kind of try to do the, like, demonic vibes with these dancers and all black. But I also feel that, like... I feel like it should go for three breaths. I don't know, every time I listen to it, I'm like, <sighs> I feel like there should be a third, but whatever. <laughs> I feel like she's gonna bring like Elena level choreography because Tomta couldn't really do the choreography as well. She was, you know, she just, it just wasn't, she did a little hair flips, she did her little swivels, but I feel like this girl could, if she can bring a great, performance and really 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 serve it and have good vocals and everything i mean i'm not gonna forget y'all i know that many people would say that fuego is now overhype within the eurovision fandom however i want to remind you all for those of you who were in the eurovision fandom at the time of eurovision 2017 wait 2018 fuego was not hyped up or like really liked at all until rehearsals came around and i remember there was all you know there's all the polls every single year greece versus cyprus everybody was saying greece everybody was saying greece was better than cyprus i remember this y'all please people please 
corroborate my story in the comments down below if you were there. People didn't like Fuego that much, but it was the live performance that really brought it. The lyrics, listen, they're a little bit cheesy in Fuego. Like Pelican fly, fly, fly in. Like what the fuck? Like what are you talking about girl in the pineapples in her video? But it was the performance, that live performance that really brought it home. So I mean, I feel like the same kind of catchiness that, that Fuego has, this has. I feel like it can produce the same epic vision that Fuego did. As long as the performance and the staging is that good. I really do feel like it has that potential. I know y'all probably think I'm crazy. And what's really cool about this also is its divisiveness. You know, seeing people in Cyprus get really upset about the El Diablo kind of idea of I fell in love with El Diablo, that sort of thing. Controversy honestly sometimes is really, really good. I think that a good winning entry has to be divisive. 1944 is my favorite entry ever in Eurovision and that shit is the divisive entry to end all divisive entries. So I think that a little bit of controversy does help when it's not anything like actually offensive. Like obviously there's nothing wrong with her singing a song about the devil. Like there's nothing wrong with that unless you are really religious. Re like realistically, there's nothing wrong with that. She didn't do anything problematic in that way, at least. I don't know what else she got going on in her life. But yeah, I really, really like this entry. Seriously, I'm excited for it. I'm excited to see it on the stage and I'm really, really excited to see what they do. I hope they bring an absolute surf because I think that this could just be amazing. So yeah, guys, that is it for my reaction to Cypress's entry for Eurovision 2021. Don't forget to leave in the comments down below what you thought about their entry this year. As usual, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any other video that I do. And yeah, guys, my name is Max Rainbow. I will see you all later. Goodbye. Mwah.